Hello friends, this is DMC Aim, and this is my quick review of Lavazza's Tierra for Africa Ground Coffee. And I think, think I picked this one up in Asda. It was around about the £4 mark, which is quite expensive, and I, I was quite gutted because I probably could have picked up two of Asda's own coffees for the same price I paid for this one. But as this is a new coffee, I thought I'd pick this one up. And as well, they do an Amazonian as well, which I in intend to pick up in the near future. So let's take a quick look at the bag. It says premium blend, which is debatable where Lavazza, I should say, comes into it. I've been, um, it's been pointed out to me numerous times in the comments section that I'm pronouncing Lavazza wrong. And it's pronounced Lavazza because a double Z in Italian is like sort of like pizza. It was explained to me by someone kindly in the comments section. So I must remember to pronounce it Lavazza instead of Lavazza. So anyway, <laughs> get that out of the way. It says there, Sustain Youth Education, Bio Organic. It's an Arabica and Robusta blend, rich and bodied. Ideal for, and there's the intensity, 7 out of 10. Rainforest Alliance, hand-picked coffee. Well, I thought it may have been picked by Tesla bots, but anyway, it's hand-picked by humans. On the back, it's got in English, uh, Lav Lavazza Heritage. A world that destroys the goods of nature is one I do not wish to be part of. And um, that's by... The uh, wise words of Luigi Lavazza in 1935, and the rest is the, des the des desire to protect the planet and respect people who live there gave birth to Giuseppe E. Pericle Lavazza Onlus Foundation, which since 2004 has been taking care of farming communities and sustainability projects. The product story is Lavazza Tierra for Africa is an organic coffee born in East Africa region where the Lavazza Foundation supports the new generations of farmers, training them in their entrepreneurial management of their businesses. Lavazza Tierra coffee's best nature. And yeah, they've got a sort of slight spelling mistake, I think, there by, I don't know, comma where it shouldn't be. Or it should be after region. I think my English isn't the best, even though that's my natural uh, or my normal speaking language. Responsible pack. This pack is designed to help recyclability. Well, I guarantee it's not recyclable in, in the UK. On the sides... We've got a little bit of information in different languages. No English there. Imported in Australia by Lavazza Australia. 180 gram bag as well. Bloody hell, four quid and it's a 180 gram bag. That's disgraceful. Boycott Lavazza, I say. And there the English is Organic roasted ground coffee, packaged in a protective atmosphere, and the best before date is January 2023, so they always put a really long best before date on their coffees. Lavazza. So that is it for the pack. You don't even put a reseal on there, they just give you a really rubbish bit of sellotape on the top as well. So that is it for the pack. Let's take a quick look at the ground coffee <clears throat> and the aroma well it's a bit disappointing it's woody it's got that sort of walnut hint that I really don't like in coffees it's very acidic smelling but we'll see if that transfers to the taste it's slightly floral and has a very subtle vanilla hint too it's rich and there's a certain complexity to it but if you've seen my past reviews of Lavazza coffees, I'm not a big fan of them. And this one has my expectations so low. 
I'm at eye level with Danny DeVito. I'm really hoping the taste brings a few surprises, but I highly doubt it. Doesn't even look appealing, the, um, the actual coffee itself. So, taste wise, well, it's not good. My first thought when I tasted it was it's very cardboardy. It's slightly earthy and very bland, watery and a bit insipid too. It's not exactly weak in body though because it's got a sort of creamy vanilla hint that kicks in near the finish. In fact it mentions East Africa on the pack and it reminds me a bit of Ugandan coffees I've tried in the past with a similar vanilla hint to them. There's no bitterness but it's super acidic from start to finish which peters out to a strange sort of pepperiness on the finish. So I found this not very enjoyable at all. A real chore to drink it and it gets a score of 2.5 out of 5. It's not a typical Lavazza taste. If you like the, Ro the Rossa or Espresso coffees they sell, this will be a bit of a shock to your system, this one. It's sort of on a par with bad I Ikea coffees. I think I would even rather drink little coffees than this one, so definitely not one I would recommend. In fact, treat this one like an anti-vaxxer and steer well clear. So I'd really like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee or let me know your opinions on Lavazza coffees in general. Let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.